Hey guys, welcome back, and we're gonna be exploring yet another secret. Now, this time around, I have to bring my boy Vaughn, uh, who's my second favorite child in this household, in this family. He's also my original character, so again, very odd for me to have him in a video. It's it's like it's like having my family in a video. It's weird, but um, you know, probably healthy for me though, because I should put them in front of people uh, if they're ever going to exist in a book. Anyways, we need Vaughn because he has level 10 handiness skill, which is what you need in order to reach this secret area. It's in Oasis Springs, um, specifically I think here at Desert Bloom. I didn't actually read that, so if it's not here, I'm gonna laugh my face off. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, so it is at Desert Bloom Park. Here it is, and we need to break this open. Um, I'm using this child, obviously, because he has level 10 handiness skill. He's the only sim I have that has level 10 handiness skill. And this is a secret area. It looks cool. I don't, I don't know why I've never noticed this. Yes! Shoosty! We opened it. Oh, that was way easier than the tree. <laughs> there we go. Had a boy, Vaughn. Alright, so, we've got our, our usual. Vaughn, ever the intrepid explorer, sets out to spelunk the cave. There are two pathways. The narrower of the two is a bit s excuse me, stalactite. Ay, get it? But Vaughn stalagmite fit the squeeze. Let's follow the narrow path. Seems mysterious and spooky enough. Oh, okay, I think I that wasn't it. Nope. Just like the Sylvan uh glade, I'm gonna show you all of the wrong answers before I show you the right answers. Totally intentional. The dark winding fissure proves too difficult to navigate. Vaughn quickly becomes frustrated. All right, well, good job, V. Let's try that again. Uh, we're gonna take the wide path. Normally, I'm not this bad. No need to try something dangerous. Vaughn creeps down the main branch and spies through the dim uh, remaining light a switchback headed gradually up and a rickety ladder heading down. Let's take the ladder. I feel like the switchback is going to do exactly what it sounds like and take us backwards. Vaughn carefully plunges into a black abyss, groping his way along splintery rungs. After a long descent, a faint azure light starts to fill the expanse below. He can step, step off onto a dim, mossy precipice or continue into the blue. Keep climbing! Oh, seemingly infinite rungs takes Vaughn down, down, down. After it exhausts you while he realizes he needs to retreat lest he gets stuck down here forever. Okay, well, I got one right. So we're going to take the wide path, and then we are going to climb the ladder, and we're going to step off onto the ledge. A soft, hey, I think we made it. A soft, bossy path leads Vaughn effortlessly onward until he spies an entrance to a beautiful grotto. Yup, the forgotten grotto. We found it. I'm a great secret hunter. I know what I'm doing. I'm not looking answers up online. Nah. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the Forgotten Grotto. Now these areas, supposedly, I, the way I've read it is that there is there is a hidden area in each world. Steady first. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this toilet. What is that? That is insane. That's a toilet if ever there was one. What else is there here? Let's find out. I actually legitimately don't know. I only know how to get here. Of course, a- Oh, look at this! Oh, this is pretty. I actually- I do not know if, um, there are any special fish here. I do know that there are three fishing locations. One, two, three. Count them with me. Um, we've got some, some potential plants. Hey, an onion plant. Okay, that's new. Ooh, of course, we you can't enter a, a mine shaft and not find some, some. Ooh, hello, that looks interesting, doesn't it? Actually, yeah, that one looks different. That one has fossils. That one has treasure. Oh, this place is cool. I'm like letting things load in, which is why I'm kind of going backwards. Because as we spend more time here, these things start to appear. Sage bush, another uh, executable. Executable, that's not what I was looking for. Uh, the thing where you excavate. That's the word I wanted. Excavatable. This is so pretty. I always love stuff like this. Like, this is really cool. What's this one? Potato plant. Accurate. 
I don't know how many other secret areas there are. I mean, there are the obvious ones, like 6am. You can go to 6am if you max out. I might show that one in a video. I don't know. I feel like everyone knows that one exists, though. These ones, I feel like nobody knows they exist because they're so random and so weird. Uh, like the Sylvan Glade, you just have to go talk to a tree a bunch. Look at that! That is super duper pretty. Can I mine this? Seriously. Look at all these crystals. You could make a killing off of this. Look at the f oh. We got a rainbow fish. That's a fairly normal fish, I think. Eat it. Did you get it? What'd you get? Oh, we got a capsule. Okay, well, I probably shouldn't have done dig for treasure because that's pretty much what that always gives you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is really, I love this shot. Like, maybe not, not with the sign, but this shot is really just gorgeous. Like, being able to, you know, oh, yeah, look at that. That looks nice. That's a shot. That's great. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.